Hello everybody, in this video I will show you a shower head that creates rotating and structured water. So what I mean by this is, we have the shower head itself and we have the water coming in here, then it creates a triple vortex inside of this shower head that the water is rotating around a strong neodymium magnet and then the water comes out here at this thin slit in a rotational movement. As you can already see at the bottom, the water is rotating just like with a tornado. And if I just put my finger in there, you can already see the inside is hollow. So we just have a bubble of water on the outside. It's just a thin layer of water. And since this is the case, and the air is trapped inside, if I just put it down like this, you will see the, the, the water expands to the outside since yeah the air can't escape through the water film if i put it up like this you can see this beautiful bubble of water that comes out of this water shower head and it is a really really pleasant feel on the skin since there is not a lot of water pressure unlike with most shower heads you can see this if i just tilt it to the side it doesn't come out like this so it's intended to be used like this top down. And I will show you later how you can 3D print and build this shower head yourself. The 3D printing files will be in the video description. Also you can purchase this shower head in my shop. The link will also be in the video description. So for now I will just shortly demonstrate to you the shower head itself and what the water looks like when it comes out here. And you can already see it forms this beautiful pattern because the water is rotating. I also made a version for rain shower heads which can be attached directly um, for these rain showers if you have something like this. So this is the rain shower head that I was talking about before. It is the exact same design as the other one, just without a handle. And as you can see, it is mounted directly onto where normally your rain shower head is mounted onto. It has a half inch fitting, so it can be attached on most showers easily by just screwing it on. And the whole system is very dependent on your water pressure that you have. So in this shower that I show you now, I have lower water pressure and that's why I made a low water pressure version. The only difference is the slit where the water comes out is slightly smaller. So you still get this nice water bubble, even though if you have lower water pressure, which is really important. So if you have low water pressure, you should go for the low water pressure version of this device. And now I will show you how you can print and build the whole thing. So now I'm going to reveal to you what's actually inside of this shower head. So in this 3D model I have cut it open so you can get a better idea of what's actually going on inside. And as you can already see we have a set of turbine blades down here at the bottom. So what's happening is that the water comes inside here and then is stopped by this additional plastic disc and is forced through these turbine blades in a rotational movement and comes out here down at the bottom. So here the water is already rotating and is then again forced through another set of turbine blades towards the outside. If I go further up here, you can probably see better what I mean just show you everything and yeah water comes in here forced through these turbine blades comes out here already rotating and then is further rotated through this outer set of turbine blades and then the water comes out here in this bubble like movement and this yellow cylinder that you see is the neodymium disc magnet that's at the center which is really powerful 
and also you can see the tip of the shower head which is hollow and I will show you later with what I fill it. So now I will show you quickly the 3D printing settings. Here is the sliced 3D model that you can see. So I will just go through it from bottom to top. As you can see, the wall thickness is quite important. So I have six layers. Um, so the wall is thick enough so that the water can just escape anywhere. This is really important. You can use infills like here, but not on the other parts. You should use really thick walls and the bottom and yeah, as you can see here, it should be at least 10 layers. So water can't escape anywhere where it shouldn't. And as you can see here, everything is solid from here on. And yeah, for the print itself, you don't need any support material. The whole print is designed to be printed without any support. So you can just print it in place like this. And you have to print this disc separately that will later be glued inside of here that stops the water from just spilling out here on the top. And also this is where the magnet is placed in later. And also the tip that I've talked about before will also be printed separately. So now that we have printed everything, you should end up with a shower head that looks like this. And now we are going to assemble it. And first step is we take this plastic disc that we also printed and insert it into this hole right here like this and then you take some water resistant liquid glue and just put some of it right here around the edge to seal everything up and make this whole thing watertight. Then you let it dry and after that you take this large neodymium disc magnet which is two centimeters in height and three centimeters in diameter and also insert it into this hole and make sure that this side is south pole. So south pole is facing you when you're showering or south pole is facing the tip in this direction. This is important. And just insert it carefully just until it reaches the plastic disc. Don't push it in violently. And after you have inserted the magnet, the tip comes on top of here like this also gets pushed in and inserted you can use some glue here to make sure that it stays in place and for the tip itself it is printed in two parts it is this ring here and the tip itself and as i mentioned before the whole thing is printed hollow and what i do with the versions that i make and sell is i fill it up with an organite mix you don't know what that is this is just a mixture of epoxy resin various metals and crystals so in this case i used copper iron stainless steel balls and yeah quartz rose quartz black tourmaline blue appetite just various crystals also some pyrite inside here and yeah you don't need to do that if you don't want to do that there is also a solid version of this so you can also print that or leave it hollow as you wish and after that you just add it on top of here and now you have this part finished and the last part that we have to do is we have to insert a stainless uh, sorry a copper pipe with a brass fitting on top of here and this is just a 15 millimeter standard copper pipe and a brass fitting, half inch threading. And I have just put it inside of the copper pipe and soldiered it on here. So it is watertight. There are lots of instructions on YouTube on how you can connect the copper pipe to a brass fitting. It's not that difficult. 
and yeah what you do here is you take the copper pipe and before you do that of course you also add some of the water resistant glue all around the copper pipe not too much or will it will get messy and yeah just push it inside here and you're good to go let everything dry and this is basically how you assemble the whole device and after that you should end up with a shower head that looks just like this you have the copper pipe inserted and the tip on there the magnet in there and everything in place and the reason why I went for the copper pipe that's in there, by the way, the copper pipe is 25 centimeters long. The reason why I made this is because then the whole handle and the assembly is just much stronger and more rigid and it lasts you a long time. For example, I've made earlier versions of this just with uh, also a half inch threading but it is screwed in and inserted only this long. And since the top part is quite heavy, it can happen after a few months of use, since all the weight is right on this part, that yeah, the water starts to leak out here. And I don't want that to happen. That's why I went with this solution, with the copper pipe inserted all the way inside, so the all of the weight is distributed along this length and yeah, the copper pipe obviously added some strength to the whole thing. And just to show you the magnet itself under a field viewer, it's field obviously at this size is quite large and strong. But since it is encapsulated in this shower head, it's not dangerous anymore. So when you handle the neodymium magnet itself, be careful because it's really strong. But when it's encased here, you can still see the field under the field viewer as it extends out here. But it is not dangerous anymore if you bring it close to a, yeah, any iron object. Like for example, these pliers, they will still slightly be attracted to it, but not to a level where it would be dangerous in any way. And also for the rain shower head version of it, the assembly of this part is exactly the same. The only difference is we I have here this fitting. We have here a 3 8 inch um, threading and here obviously half inch threading. So you need this part, half inch by 3 8 inch. And just take some 2k epoxy put it inside of the threading of the plastic part and obviously just screw it in and let it dry so the assembly of this rain shower head is a bit easier you don't need any copper pipes or something like that and yeah that's basically how you make the whole thing so also what i've made this was a way earlier version of it. This is just a version that you can 3D print entirely. So you don't need the copper pipe or any additional hardware. The threadings is also half inch is just printed. But the downside of this one is that obviously because this part is quite heavy and when you screw it on here, all the weight sits on this part and over time, it can happen that, yeah, this part can break. So I have versions that lasted, I don't know, for half a year and have no issues at all, but I had some problems with ones that broke after several months. So you can go the easy way and just make this all-in-one print solution, but be aware that these ones probably won't last you forever. And what you can also do and is really neat is you can take a garden hose adapter like this, also with the same diameter of thread, 
half inch and just screw it on there put your garden hose on there and use these to water your plants outside so yeah turn up the water and water your plants they will thank you and will be very happy about this and yeah i showed you some prototypes now already a bit of a history of how i built this the shower head took me like one year to develop i've printed 50 prototypes or even more of that and yeah just the slightest variation in any diameter inside here results in a different water flow so yeah you can imagine each one takes more than five hours to print more than 50 of these prototypes that's why it took me a year to make them and it was quite a large project for me actually the biggest one i ever did so i think the end result is very worth it i personally used this one since months since i started building them i've also given various prototypes to friends and family and received very positive feedback from them and i can tell you from personal experience if you use this shower in the morning or after a long day you feel really refreshed and revitalized and it's not like a usual shower experience with a regular shower head. So hopefully you enjoy it when you use it. Have fun building it. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.